Okay, so here we are on top of the roof. There's a platform. And here's our collector again. Now it's aluminum foil crumpled up. So we got lots of collection points. Uh, very light coating of graphite on top of the aluminum foil first. And uh, all coated with the enamel. We just got the antenna hooked up under there. And all right, so let's go down there and see what we get. It was 2.3. Let's see volts before. Okay. So let's see what we get. Here we are back down here. The circuit. And now I hope we get more than 2.3 volts. Three point two. It's reversed. Instead of two point three, we're getting three point two. All right, so it did help, but not as much as I was hoping. But uh, I've got a lot more ideas yet. So. All right, guys, that's it for this uh, video. Uh, hopefully you watch the next one. See what else we could do with this. Uh, going down a little bit. That's fluctuating. Let's see here. I'm just gonna take the antenna, I'm just gonna put my thumb and forefinger on it here and you can watch this, the voltage here. One, two, three. See how quick it drops? That's why I say it's very important to not let anything touch that antenna. It'll keep dropping too. Alright, I'm gonna let go of it. See, it goes right back up. You gotta be careful in your circuit too. A lot of people, and even myself, many times accidentally have touched across the circuit and different areas here with your either your probes accidentally or even just your fingers, and you could uh, blow out your diodes. And all of a sudden you'll be wondering why you're not getting that much voltage. So you gotta watch that. Discharge it too. Touch across where you got the probes, you know, after you disconnect the antenna. So you don't leave a charge in your circuit when you're not using it or anything. Okay, so till next video. See you later.